What's going on guys? Lionheart here. It is patch day. I have had fun with a couple of different decks and this was the one I was most excited for. It is Keltullis, but with Witch's Sabbath. Now Witch's Sabbath is one of the new cards that have been dropped in and it allows you to summon up to the three highest power units from your opponent's graveyard and then summon that many monster units from your graveyard to the, to the opposite row on your side. The first thing I thought when I saw this card was, oh boy, I can play Kelly, Defender, and a another car in a single turn. Ooh. Oh boy, that's kind of strong. There are other uses for this card potentially that fill me with dread. If I start seeing you all playing Rat Clog with this card, I will come for you. Uh, but yeah, it's it's a standard Keltalis list, as you will expect. There is the Siri dash, so on blue coin, you're kind of happy to jam your defender down, get Siri, try and get that additional card switch going. You've got your engines that you would expect to see, your Nithril's Beasts, Aperian Phantoms, as well as in the bronze slot, the Wild Hunt Hounds. The beauty is... Well, you can kind of do a little bit of a lippy because the cards you commit, particularly those big pieces, they're coming right back. They are going to come back and they're going to help you later. Not too many units in this one, as you would expect, because, of course, you don't really want too many units on your side of the board when you want Keltalis to start burning. Went through a few different versions of this. Originally, we did have Yaga in the list, but honestly, it didn't feel too great because to get good value out of Yaga... We're consuming the opponent's units anyway, so we kind of ended up with a bit of counter synergy there, and I think Yaga ends up in a more relic-only list. I'm looking forward to building one of those, because I do think the card is really fun, a really cool kind of design, and a good version, and a good example of how variants in a high-value gold can work and be kind of cool. Uh, but didn't feel right in this, we ended up going a little bit more uh, into the middle range, so Chiran to get rid of some units, even though it does end up causing you to eat engine sometimes. It can also get you out of some tight spots because if you don't have good units ready for Witch's Sabbath and it's in your hand, well, Chiron fixes that. Off into the graveyard you go, back out you come. This card's a little tricky because of course you are bringing three cards back for your opponent. Now that could be three engines, that could be, so it, it can be really scary. But honestly, I'm having a blast with this list so far. I would definitely recommend you check it out. A few games coming up for you. I hope you like them. If you've got any suggestions on how perhaps I could improve the list, other things I can do, let me know. If there's any lists you'd like to see me try, come and check it out on stream or let me know in the comments below. Love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Okay. I mean, I know we just won the game, but I think Kyran would en enable a bit more. And if, it's, if I've got an awkward round, I could Kyran consume the things, which is Sabbath again, and then bang and pull them straight back again, you know what I mean? Um, when will I be drawing the winner? End of the stream, line tag. End of the stream. As long as you're, like, in chat, it's fine. And by in chat, I quite literally mean, like, lurking even is fine. As long as I can see your name, we're okay. Okay, so this person's trying line pocket still. Is this just literally I'm playing drill? Interesting idea. Okay, so I've got the perfect opening hand, I think. Because I open with this into Defender. So Defender, Veil, this, right? Like, I love, the, I love everything about this hand. Drill goes, brrr, not anymore. Not anymore, it got nerfed to death. Okay. Hey, Nuke, what's up, my friend? What tall removal do you have with no... You don't, right? New SK feels good. New SK looks incredible. New SK looks incredible. Is it? It depends on how much graveyard shit. You want a game against Kelly without finding Fuxia? Wow. It's a lot of points. But now it's gone, and I can play it again. I do not have an OnlyFans. No one would buy it. Mm -hmm. No one would buy it. Okay. Am I killing this? 
Am I do we am I killing this? Because I can I can banish the mm. In SK you kill Xavier in one turn. That's true, but it already got rid of your Reorgan by then. So once that's gone, you've just lost like a huge chunk of your points. You've just lost your finisher to a single because it plays on deploy, right? Um I don't think I am yet, because this doesn't matter as much now, right? You'll be down. Uh... <laughs> Kelly, day one. The, honestly, this list's nuts, man. Oh, thank you very much. Good reminder there, Saber. Appreciate you. Uh, you suggest it and he laughed. Fair. So... I think I banish this. I think I'm okay with that. Using my damage in this round feels all right. I've got two points to turn as an engine. Um, so right now my opponent passes. Uh, wait, so you committed your Purify, your Cleaver, and then passed. I I've cut Yaga already, Biscuit. I don't think it works in this list as well. It's kind of counterintuitive to get the value out of it. I think Yaga goes into a different deck. I think Yaga goes into an old, like a Relic deck. I don't think it fits in this Kelly list, personally. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, okay. I mean... Is it bad to row stack V-Rain? I mean, yeah. But at the same time, there's so much rain now that honestly, I'm not sure not row stacking helps you either. Um, I mean, I think we are going for the 2-0 again then, right? I'm going to... Oh, I bring this back. This comes back. I need my squirrel. I need my squizzle. I'm actually going to have to royal decree a squirrel here to get rid of this. Do you understand? I can't 2-0. That's wild. I cannot 2-0 here. Because I will pull Kolkstein back out for my opponent. I actually have to squirrel here. And probably take them into a long round, which sounds scary, I know, but I think it's all right. That's actually really annoying. Okay, we get a blacksmith. You're going to give me justice, aren't you? You're going to give me justice. How's Monsters doing? Pretty well. Pretty well. It, we, we've had to tweak some stuff. Um, I lost the game because I didn't enable my Keltalis, but that was a misplay. Uh, we won the next game. So we've beaten NR. Uh, I lost to Nilfgaard, but I should have won against Nilfgaard. If I pick the right card, we win the game um, from Anero. Uh, it's now better, I think, with the Kyran to consistently enable Kelly as well. So if the opponent has two cards, I will only bring my top two back, for instance. So, because it's up two. They will bring two, therefore I will bring two. Actually. Like this, look. So they bring two back, therefore I bring two back. Okay. Just like that. I probably should have killed this, but whatever. I'm pushing again, I've decided. Screw it. Good talk. Okay. I hear a noise. Oh. Thanks for those, Scoop. Can you host me earlier? Um, okay, I'm probably killing this, right? I'm probably killing this now. Actually, I just get Siri down because they clearly can't. Nah. It's my heat wave, so I don't need to kill it. Let's get Siri down. And then I get the beast down. Okay, that's fine. So, it's the beast next. 
I have to cons I have to consume three allied units. That's the only problem with the Chiran. So I'm going to have to use this. I'm going to have to eat this, use this, eat this. Right? Townsfolk. Poggers. Let's go. So I just dropped the Kelly now. And now everything they do dies, right? Two, fours. Yeah. So it's just game over. Okay. So every unit they play now dies. Um, do you not get keys anymore for the end of the season? Yeah, you do. You do. Have you not had them awarded yet? Scoob, is that you in Discord, by the way? Yeah, the keys will come, don't worry. Yeah, we just swallow potion. Okay, so that's game over then, right? So we just win now. I think I can actually hero pass. I'm not going to, but I could. I'm pretty sure. I think next turn I kill this, right? I think I kill the tax collector. Actually, yeah, I kill the tax collector. I would, maybe I was supposed to parasite this. I don't know. Yeah. Scoob, are you here? Let's go! Nice! Love it! Yep. Alright. So which one am I killing? I need to be careful not to burn my stuff. I mean, I, don't, I need to not worry now, right? So, it's now Chiron, eat, so, all right. In theory, I so they've got five, they've got nine, right? One, two, three, four, five. So I can play every unit here. I'm probably supposed to just kill the Igor. Yeah. So I've got three points a turn, plus a burn. Yeah, I didn't have any issues getting in. Awesome. So that's going to die anyway, or it's a 50-50 for it to die. But I think I want to kill it as a guarantee. Clever. Okay, so this now dies, right? Um, so I now do this. Wait. I'm going to hit... Hey, Maximum, how you doing, chap? Gonna hit that. Do that. Nom. 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 If my opponent plays Jurgen, we're gonna scream. With the correct monster... Yes, uh, Nuke, it's happening to everybody. Uh, I don't know what the bug is. It's happening with a lot of lists. Okay, GG. Check the seasonal contracts. Uh, that's weird, Zaniac. Uh, check that you aren't... that the. Your PC doesn't think that you're loaded in still. Um, like going to Task Manager. Is this an old card back? Uh, which one am I using? Uh, okay, we're against Nilfgaard. So, do we end up surviving? Let's find out. This time. Oh yeah, this is um, from Way of the Witcher. It's an, an ev uh, evolving card. So this is going to be the thingy spam, right? It's kind of scary. Ooh, this could be funny. Uh, consume first, then brought Kelly back. Then brought back Kelly. That would have been better in theory, right? That's probably what I should have done. Um, I don't win either way. I don't win either way. This hand is garbage. Okay, good talk. Oh my god. Uh.
Mm. But yeah, I don't win either way. And I lose a turn of Kelly like that. Yeah. Okay, so this is going to create an Ilfgaard card. There's no shot you're playing Mill day one, right? There's no way we're doing that. You're going to be that guy? Oh my. I don't even want Siri now. I don't know about that one, chat. I don't know about that one. You know what I mean? Mill, I mean, the new cards, unfortunately, do benefit Mill, which worries me a little. Like, oh, dude, don't be that guy. You know what I mean? Okay. How to make someone hate Gwent in one easy step. So I have no defender now, which is kind of problematic, right? Um, oh. uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well done. Good job, champ. Good job. In related news, get in the bin. You hate mill and cloggers? Me too. Me too. Some of my least favourite archetypes that this game has ever tried to push. Okay, so I have my heat wave, right? I guess. Actually, no. Awesome. Worth the cream for Kelly? Probably. Quite probably. <clears throat> I mean, I'm heat waving Strega Ball, right? Because if he gets my Keltalis, it is this one I'm supposed to heat wave, right? I think it's a stupid heat wave, but at the same time, I don't think I have a better option. I don't know if Mill's bad anymore. Like, I unironically don't know if Mill is actually bad anymore. Or not. I'm not convinced. Math is fine. Hey, Dante. How you doing, man? Good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, Alright, so... In theory, I'm su I think I'm supposed to... Like, this shouldn't be running Yen. It's Mill, right? It shouldn't be... Do we think it's running Yen? Is Yen a thing? That's... Is Yen a thing? In this list? I'm inclined to say probably no. But... Because in that case, I play Kel Tullis, right? And I... I play Kelly because then I get it in my graveyard, which is where I want it. So I'm going to... Vilg is... Vilga Force is they can kill it. I don't mind them killing it. Them killing it is completely fine. The fact that it's going to burn this Cantarella is even better, right? Yeah. Okay, Vilga Force is fine. Summon Siri. Yeah, that's fine. All right. So we're ahead. I'm actually completely fine with that. I now play another engine. That's fine. It dying is okay. As long as it stays here, we're fine. Right? And the Cantarella is gone. Okay, the eye bar's really bad. Oh, it's Adrenaline 2. Was this card always Adrenaline 2, not Adrenaline 3? 
Was this card not Adrenaline 3? I thought I was safe. I thought this was Adrenaline. Why would you buff this? Am I wrong? This card was Adrenaline 3, right? It was 2 last patch. Right, okay. That's um... So. Oh, wait, I don't even have the dominance. Fuck. It used to be Adrenaline 3. 100% it used to be Adrenaline 3. I'm sure this card was Adrenaline 3. Uh... No, it wasn't. I'm just misremembering. I swear this card was Adrenaline 3. Alright, so now I have to pass, so we've just lost the game, right? This is just game over. I ought I just lose to Mill. Oh boy. Mixing with Mentor. No, I I remember this card being a three. I I know, like literally I remember it being Ivar. I ran this card in the Sunset Wanderers meta, and I'm like in my head this is Adrenaline 3. Yeah? So we lose on even. Which is just a big L, right? Um, yeah, Gwent 1's right. Gwent 1 is correct. 100%. So yeah, we're just dead. So what, just play Siri and boost it even though it doesn't get this, that and just hope they can't kill it? Thoughts? Just play Siri, boost it once with a leader and hope? He has Renew. What, for Vilgaforce? Yeah, probably. But that's always going to exist, right? There's nothing I can do about that. Like, the, I have to play the card and just hope that they don't have it in hand. So, plus if he Vilgaforces, there's a good chance I get the Nithril. We don't want to mill ourselves? I mean, yeah. That's relevant, but I don't think... Okay, so they have the lock... I have the Purify, and I have to use the Purify here, as much as I don't want to. Because I'm milling myself to do so, but... Witch's Sabbath saves me, if I can get out of this round. If I can get out of this round, Witch's Sabbath saves me, but I've got to get out of the round without using the bloody card. Right? If they can mill me one more time, I'm already screwed. And I'm guessing they can. Alright. And the cards I have in hand mean either Siri doesn't go off or I give up my win condition. I don't want Siri to go off now, correct? I actually don't want Siri to go off. Thinking about it. So. Okay. Make them pass. Because you now can't touch my stuff. Right? You don't have an 11 point card. There's no shot you have an 11 point card. Right? So they have to pass. Tibor? Tibor's a risk for them. Which is Sabbath is going to give me Keltullus? 
Hyperion Phantom, Wild Hunt Hound. Let's go. I forgot about you. So we mulligan the Aneuromancy, right? That's no good. Um, job done. I forgot Aneuro was going back in. So, the problem is I don't want to start with Witch's Sabbath because I burn my own card, right? Only gives monsters. In the bait, uh, there was a version that gave you Siri, but you do not want... Like, that was too good. Actually, no, I get this, this, and this. Okay, so what... Do I discard a card? I think I discard a card. Right, and what am I giving them, actually? I'm giving them the top three. It doesn't matter. So they're going to get... Is that correct? So they're going to get what? Matahuri... Bilgafors, Brathens. No, I don't burn a card. I'm being a moron, yeah. Boom. It doesn't burn me. Yeah, I'm being stupid. I'm being stupid. Just one four cards down with it. Yeah, you will do. I think it's absurd. I, I actually think that's way too good. Um, way too easy. I think that... I honestly think Meditating Mage spam ends up causing a serious meta problem. I could be wrong, but I hope I'm wrong. Really hope I'm wrong. So they can't renew Vilgaforce now, which is Kek hilarious. Yeah, his renew's now, like, bought to hell. Because he can't renew Brathens, right? So he's got nothing exciting to renew. I think we're getting something as well, actually. I hope we do. Okay, Operator. <laughs> uh... What leader? Um, thingy. That's fine. I'm alright with that. Let it burn. Um, so, uh, pin some maneuver yeah. 100%. Guarantees you your draws. Well, unlucky mill player. Heck, W. I mean, the t is just free real estate for them, to be fair, right? That's still a lot of points. Um... I should have boosted first. I just lost a point. That's really annoying. Oh... Way to, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm really, yeah, I was going to say, I'm really nervous about uh, Resilient Mages. I'm not GGing you, go away. Uh, don't play Mill on, yeah, Mill still not good. Honestly, we should, we could easily have lost that game. Like, easily have lost that game. Nope, Mill player didn't GG me either. Good to know. Good to know. Um, I wonder if you, I'd like a beach to return GG. Like, no, I don't want this. Take it back. I was going to say, I think Mill is decent. Oh, here we go. Okay, so Meditating Mage Spam. First time I've done it. Other ways to use the new organic card? I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, chat, looks like we're going to see our first Meditating Mage Spam. I'm pretty sure. Uh, fuck, yeah, the fact that Racklog... It, yeah, it can benefit from Racklog as well. That just pisses me off. Um, I can win this with Kelly. Possibly, um, but I am nervous, I'm going to be honest. Okay, I'm pretty decent. I'm quite lucky here. I think this is fine. Lefty man! Hey, thank you for the sub. It's my new favourite Prime Gaming sub. Look how cute this is. Look how happy he is. He's like, yeah, I did the thing. Lefty man, that is you right now. Good life choice, my friend. Good life choice. Welcome home. Good to have you. Good to have you. Okay, there's the Donomir. The animation is amazing. Thank the generally incredibly talented Pabs. Thank the Pabs for that. Explosive Kyushu, happy patch day to you as well, my friend. And it's three months for you. Welcome home. Good to have you back. Good to have you back. All right, so this is going to be...
No, Letitia should be Letitia should be in the new um, Patience Mages as well. Letitia should be in Patience Mages. Now, there's an argument here that I'm supposed to a Nero Parasite and just kill it. But I'm not sure. Because I could do this and then kill it the next turn. Play without Letitia. You could. I think Letitia to guarantee value is pretty decent. Um, okay. Awesome. Die. Hmm. That's for the. That's for. I, I don't mean meditating mages. I mean students. I think this is for. Yeah. Bye. Okay, maybe this was Arch Griffin. Never mind. Bye, Arch Griffin player. Ooh, Amber! Uh, Will, I've actually got a list very similar to that uh, in deck. But yeah, West Valley and share it if you want to, bud. Okay, hand buff friend. So you aren't control heavy, I would expect. So torque is in hand. Removal's important. Did Shin make... Um, did Shin make one already? I didn't get to see most of his stream yesterday. I only got to see bits. Okay, so there's the Dunker. Dunker gets boosted straight away. That's fine. Um, okay. So, in theory, that's actually not a terrible heat wave, but there's Mill and Seasonal. Like, why? You know what I mean? Like, what are we doing? You're watching stream while you're questing? Fair. Yeah. New mills are ironically going to be decent, which honestly makes me feel unwell, but, you know. See, I don't want to wait. I think I have to do that. If the hand buff hits torque, it's like a big L, because it's just doubling the value of it, right? Didn't draw enough bombs or removal here. I think I'm getting out. Hopefully they play another. Okay. So that can't have gone on talk, which is good. So I've played no real... I haven't played monster units yet. So at the moment, this is awkward, right? Oh, actually, hand buff has gone on to this twice. That's great. I'm just going to drop that there for graveyard. It's not growing or anything, which is fine. Although, that was a mistake because I've just given them a circle. Oh, no, they've given me the other one. Nice. Okay, bye. Farewell. In theory, they could play down to four cards to take the long round. Uh, but they don't. So, all of their onboard hand buff is gone. So, that's an interesting pass from my opponent. Like, they've given me both of these and this. Now, they can still be running... Um, so, yeah, there's a couple of things they can still have, but I think mages are broken. Yeah, I do. Skelliger with rain could, is also really powerful. Uh, it depends on if it sticks for me, but apparently it's going to, so that's kind of scary. Um, mm -hmm. I do have a Skelliger rain list, and I remember it being like brutal in beta, I'll be honest. I remember it being really strong. Um So yeah, we'll play a few more games with Kelly, and then we'll switch to SK. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the idea. You build decks to counter them. I don't know. Meditating mages, I think, requires the whole meta to go a certain way, which is what makes me more nervous. Why didn't you do this earlier?
Peller at 4p is good. Yeah, Peller being 4p is good. I'm a fan of that. Bam, bam. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, early door Simless. A double bountiful harvest. SK suck to play against. I think you need graveyard hate for SK. I'm going to be honest. I think if again SK is if SK is good enough, graveyard hate exists and a ton of it exists. Um, okay, so we didn't get a bug. We didn't get an auto draw. Uh, I, so I'm going to play. I'm assuming this is devotion, right? A hundred percent believe this is a devotion list. I can't see any version of reality this isn't devotion, which means they can't do anything about that at all, right? You, there's no way your hand buff not devotion. No way. Now, movement? Movement is a thing. They could be movement, unironically, but these were created, remember. They didn't choose to play these. These were created. So, I don't think you're running movement. Could Sheldon be tall enough? Sheldon is nowhere near tall enough, no. We've seen hand buff come out already onto the Vryad. Um, and these only ticked twice more. So, at best, Sheldon could be plus four if every single buff went onto him. Which is just not enough, right? They are looking for making a bomb. Very clever. I'm supposed to not let that happen, right? So. I assume they're looking for making a bomb. That's what I would be looking for if I were them. Problem for them now, I'm Witch's Sabbath. So in the next round, assuming I can hold it, we're good. I think, yeah, so pushing, this list is going to get pushed a lot. Um, okay, circle is fine. I don't mind that. Does, like, nothing, right? So they've gone down as well, which is interesting. I wasn't expecting that, I'm going to be honest. Yeah, Forest Protector being able to do this is really cool. Um, Monster Frost, but with non-stop rain instead. Yeah. I mean, it's really good. Um, uh, there's a 50-50 that this dies, right? I kind of want that 50-50 to be 100%. Um, am I ever just locking this because the bomb kind of screws me over? I lose a lot of reset value by getting rid of this. But at the same time, between Keltullis and a Heat Wave, I think it's worth it. Thoughts? They obviously don't have these available because they're creating them with things like Forest Protector, which is a huge card. I'm effectively playing this for zero, but they have a three and four chance of making a bomb. Is Siri not considerable? Maybe, but I don't think I want a Siri here because as soon as they move... Actually, no, they can only move this and they can't kill, right? You know what? Yeah, fuck it, we Siri. Because even if they get the making a bomb, they would need a second making a bomb. We lose the 50-50, which is annoying. So. Oh, okay. So they don't, they're not looking for making a bomb then? That's kind of weird. Uh, yeah, I know what you meant, but uh, this is five, actually. This isn't six. This is five. Battle of Big Bridge. Cool. All right. So we, we're a card up. Siri doesn't go off. But honestly, we're already a card up. We don't care, right? They, they, it's the pass they have to take, because otherwise they're two cards down and probably not winning. Um, that's one of the risks of pushing Keltalis. I suppose, right? Uh, missing both of these and this feels kind of bad. So... Monster cards, one, two. I've only got, I've got three. So what am I bringing back for them is the question. Oh, I'm bringing back the Forest Protector and there's a chance I give them hand buff stuff. Oh, don't know about that one. Don't know about that one, Chief. 
That's kind of scary. Okay, maybe they just left. So I'm going to have to remove their hand buff stuff again. That's a downside. Oh, no, I don't like it. Oh, perhaps I don't like it. We play it ranged and pray... No, 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 because if I play it ranged, my Kelly goes ranged, dude. I don't want my Keltalis ranged. What are we doing? Um, shush. You disconnect it, not me. Um, okay. I'm going to do this first. Yeah. Because they can't remove this anyway. Not in a single turn. Unless, well, they could Skags it, actually. They could Skags, but... Okay, there's the Ithlin. I think... I think... I'm supposed to do it now, right? Because then the next turn, I can... If, let's say we pull a Hawker Smuggler back, right? I can kill one of them. Um, so I think I'm supposed to just do it now. We get really freaking like the luck on that is absurd. Like that's just game over. Our luck, it, like that's massive. That's absolutely huge. Because realistically, we could e we could easily have pulled back two of these as well, or two, even two of these would have been worse. Like genuinely, like that's just best case scenario for us, right? Only downside, I don't. I'm playing a lot of. Um... Ah no, we're fine. I'm just gonna end up consuming with Kyron, right? Okay, so I just get my engines going now. Uh, this will find value. Yeah. Probably need to lead us soon, champ. We doing that now? Hawk is going to be pretty big, but I have last say, so we're not worried about that. For a Nero, I think I'm not taking a unit. I'm probably taking one of the spells instead. The 6P Graveyard Exile. Do no, I don't, actually. No, I don't. But yes, that is that is one. It's too slow, but yeah, that is something I did consider doing for sure. Um, but yeah, I don't have space necessarily. Like I really like this artifact compression in this list, and I don't really want more units. Um, so yeah, that, this is one of the lists I'm not currently considering running him in. I mean, they should have some massive point payoffs. Yo, Invincible! Any decks I'm impressed by? I'm loving Kelly. Um, yo, that took a lot of buffs. Holy shit. Okay, so I've, I'm just like, no, right? Am I ever going to play some Magic? I used to play Paper Magic, actually. I find Magic the Gathering online. I, I don't want to take a mortgage out to play a game. You know what I mean? So it's a it's a tough one. Like I, I, I'd like to give it a go again, but I'd probably... Like, I, it's been so long since I played Magic. Yeeting that was better? Nah. We've still got... Some... Okay. Or, yeah. Is it that expensive? Yeah. Nice, Eda. This got a buff. Really nice, Eda, there. Okay. Very good. So I do that now. And I guess I play this engine here. But yes, to answer your question, yes, it's that expensive. Um... But certainly by comparison to Gwent, anyway. Um, but I mean, at some point, I'd probably try it again. A lot of the time, there are events where players cross over and stuff. The paper version's very expensive. I mean, honestly, I found Arena reasonably pricey. Um, I do like... Was it Limited, I think, is the game mode? Or maybe it's their, like, draft. I watch Alias V a lot, because she's really cool and used to play Gwent. Um, I watch her play Magic. I don't understand what's happening, but... She's a cool streamer, so I don't mind hanging out. Um... Yeah. Undying Thirst supposed to be in the SK deck. Undying Thirst. I don't even know which card that is. Uh, Warhammer 40k. Oh, God, I love Warhammer. Philavandral Poggers. Tork has done some fucking work. Yikes. Look at this hand buff. Tork has done work. Tork has done so much work here. Oh, my days. Okay, so a Nero now is for a boost, right? I guess. Uh, 
He filibandled for a bomb, apparently, because it's you don't get to see the whole list, I don't think. He range rode it, and 11 provisions, I don't think there is one. Why didn't he move Kelly? Don't know, actually. Don't know. Should have moved Kelpellis. That makes no sense. No idea. I was expecting more NR on ladder as well. We'll try it. Okay, I have no idea what my opponent's doing. Like, I have literally no idea what my opponent's doing. Um... So now I burn that four. Oh, no, I don't burn the four. That was a mistake, actually. I just cost myself points. That was really silly. That was actually really silly. Okay. So you're going to use... Okay, so you managed to miss a glace almost. So this torque must be huge, right? Um. Um. Nom. Yeah, so, I mean, the torque's going to be massive. What, like 20, 25 points for the torque, I would say? Oh, it's only a 12? Oh, what? Philip Andrew's too expensive? Yeah, feels it. 